Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us for just a few moments here today. And I want to bring you this information and call for you to step into action concerning what's taking place with Target and how important it is that the voices of Christian people, those that have values and beliefs that are steeped in the Word of God, and for the protection of our children and free speech even, will take action immediately. You have been hearing the controversy and um, you've been seeing the numbers uh, that as it's been declining for different corporations that have chosen to take its cause up with ungodly activity. And it's been nothing short of a serious backlash towards Target that has lost millions of dollars as a result of it. This is not the first time that they've done this. But the push that has been happening in the Target stores has been the push of the pride uh, garments, the pride wear, as it's called. And uh, in combination, interestingly enough, the combination is with satanic uh, type uh, t-shirts and the like. Those that believe in Satanism are actually behind uh, the garments that are being pushed towards children and adults. But you need to understand that this is a serious time for Christians to take action. And I'll make a bold statement to you now that if you are a Christian, you will take action. Because in the time we're living, this is not a time for you to sit back and wait for someone else to do something. It's time now to stand to the cause because uh, the Target uh, is just one of many. The Target Corporation with its pride push uh, interestingly enough, it was pride that brought Satan down and will bring down every individual that involves himself with it. But uh, you're seeing that push coming from different corporations all around. And unless Christians and those of biblical values will stand up in this hour, then certainly uh, there is a tsunami that is coming. In fact, I'm thankful for Franklin Graham, who stood at the National Religious Broadcasters just a few days ago and reminded everyone and told all of us that there is a storm coming. And that storm is going to wind up being over First Amendment rights. You could read the article, but it's so important that we take the uh, stand in this hour against evil. I want to draw your attention very quickly, uh, and this is prophetic because Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Well, what was it like in the days of Noah? Genesis chapter 6, the Bible says this, that the Lord saw... That's a dangerous thing when the Lord sees that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination and intention of all mankind's thinking was only evil continually. Can you see that happening at Target? Certainly it is. In fact, I know that the scripture uh, directs it towards young believers, but I can tell you to offend, to take advantage, to abuse, to pervert uh, children. Uh, and try to uh, persuade them that somehow that they are of a different gender than what God created them to be is absolutely evil at its very core and heart. The Bible says, though, that right in the middle of all of that, Noah found grace and favor in the eyes of God. And as a result of that, Noah, of course, built an ark to the saving of his household. I want to also draw your attention quickly to this prophetic statement that comes as Paul is writing to his young protege, Timothy, and he says, in the last days, perilous times will come, where men shall be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, here we are, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. They go to church, they proclaim their religion, and I believe that what we're seeing here is the formation of an actual religion from, a, from what you might call a woke religion uh, that is taking over our land today, and we're asking the question, is there anybody in leadership that is standing up? Is there anybody that's going to be the voice of uh, protection and the voice of the Lord in faith and in strength in these last days. Well, if you're looking towards Washington, you're going to miss it. But if you're looking to those of um, this area and in your area that can stand up for biblical values and make their position heard, then the time is now. 
I want to encourage you today in light of these prophetic events, letting us know in the last days that we're living in it right now because of what you see, to take the opportunity to write and to call Target. There's numbers that are already set up. Call their corporate headquarters. And with kindness but firmness of faith, let them know that you voice your opposition to it. Sign the petitions that are being circulated. And uh, also be ready to stand in the days that are ahead. Franklin Graham's warning to us is very critical. There's a storm coming, and we better be prepared for it as we're looking on the horizon for more and more of evil and darkness to encroach upon our society. That's why there must be individuals just like Noah who would stand as pillars of faith and strength in the last days, and that's you. And I wanna remind you, whatever you do, keep looking for Jesus because I believe Jesus Christ is coming soon.